welcome to my channel I'm Tina and this week's project was using our new embroidery machine we decided to purchase a new embroidery machine as our previous machine only did small designs it was getting a bit old and tired and there were a few things that were starting to break on her we had been discussing the idea of getting a new embroidery machine for a little while and the EM9305 seemed to be the perfect fit for us as we needed a machine that would do more than our last one that was more modern but still wasn't a too big a jump to something crazy like a multi-needle although one of those would be fun to play with in the future we're definitely not up to that yet so this machine seemed like a great fit so we popped on down to our local craft store and bought one home. And so through this video I will show you the first play and embroidery we did on this machine. But on a side note, you might notice that our craft space looks a lot tidier at the moment. And we have some beautiful new desks. This is such a cool setup as it allows us to work on both sides of the large desk. Okay. So back to our embroidery project. So we've set our singer up on our new craft table. Here you can just see the items that come along with your singer. The main thing I would note is the hoop that comes with it is a 24 by 15 centimeter. And we found reading the instructions and watching a few YouTube videos was really important to figuring out how to use this machine. As I said before, it is a big step up from our last one. It came with 150 built-in designs. So we thought we would start with one of these built-in designs. We chose one that was quite large that would use up the full hoop. And it also came with test pieces of fabric and stiffener. So again, we thought, well, we'll just use what it came with for our first design. As my mum has already had an embroidery machine, she knew how to hoop this correctly and was telling me as she's doing it that you want the fabric to be tight and make it sound like a drum. Then we dived into our stash to see what cottons we had that would look great together for this pattern. And with a lot of excitement and a little bit of nerves, we were ready to go. So we followed the steps on the machine's display screen and it seems to do like a wee check on itself and then informed us that we needed to attach the hoop. Now we had a great moment here where the machine actually informed us that we hadn't attached the hoop properly. Um, it turned out that we really needed to make it click. So it took us a couple of attempts to get the hoop in correct the first time. So I'm just showing you here from above how you slide the hoop into the arm. And this is where we had the little issue at the first time as we didn't make that click sound. And now that the hoop is on, we were ready to thread up our first colour. Again, it was an interesting because we had to learn to use the needle threader, which we've never had on any of our machines before. And we pressed the foot down and the go button and she started. You can see the reel of cotton in the bottom right hand corner. We use what we call a little tree to help our cotton go up and then over to the machine. We use these a lot of the times as we do have some large rolls of thread. We sat there mesmerized by the machine, watching it cut the threads for us and bring them through to the back, seeing how this design had several different stitch patterns in it. So that gave us a bit of an idea of the different stitches available to us. This machine already has far succeeded its predecessor in our house. Quickly we got on to the second colour and with it all going fine we sat back with a cup of tea and watched her go.
We did have a few issues with this blue thread. It is not as smooth as the other two threads we had used previously. So when we first started, we had a couple of snags and it frayed and broke. What we did to fix this is we actually slowed the machine down and when we found out how to do this, we realized we were running the machine on full speed, which isn't ideal anyway. So we've slowed it right down to the slowest because we had a thread that was playing up. But from listening to some other people, they said you really only want to run it on half speed anyway. Also, at the point of snagging and breaking our thread, we did check on our bobbin and re-thread it to make sure that it, the machine would pick it up correctly. And there it is, all finished and done. Very happy with how this had turned out. We had a total of six colours, multiple different types of stitches, including French knots. And it's really cool for a free design that's really detailed, it's lots of fun, and it really does show off the different stitches this machine can do. To finish off, we just clipped the threads on the back, and at some stage we'll sew this into a project. Thanks for watching.